Hey, this is a search engine that I built for my website, um, learning about electronics. And with this search engine, um, I search my whole site, and the search engine is able to return relevant results. So, this um, this website is learned about electronics, so it gives tutorials on mostly electronics and as well as programming. As well as other things, but mostly electronics and programming. So if I type in a query such as transistor, it returns all the hyperlinks of pages that have to deal with transistors. So you can see all these are the results returned by the search engine. And if I want to view a page, I just click on the link and it redirects me to the page. This page is how to build a latch circuit with transistors. Let's see the page. And let me go back to the search page. And you know, you can search anything on the site. The site also has a lot of calculators. So if I type in calculator, I get a, a lot of results of calculators. Yeah, I built a lot of calculator circuits. A lot of cal sorry, a lot of calculator um pages. And if I want to narrow it, I want to find a calculator with capacitors. If I type in capacitor calculator, then the results is for all the capacitor calculators. So in order for a result to be returned, it has to, all the terms that the user enters has to match um, the what's in the file name of the file, and this is basically you know how I designed this search engine to work. And again, it's it's in PHP only. It, uh, I basically just use PHP. Um, the fact that it can open and search directories on a website. And I let it search through every file in a directory, and then if the um, the search query that the user enters matches all that's in the file, then that result is returned. So um, I'll go through some of the code right now, um, how this is done. Um, I explained this in full in the article of this. Um, how to build a search engine that I created, which um, you can see a link of in the description below. Um, basically, I just created an HTML box, as you saw, just like how Google has a search box or Bing or any search engine. And then I use PHP to extract what's in that file. And then I I create a variable called search original because I'm going to modify the search string that the user entered. I'm going to make it lowercase um, because I don't want case sensitivity to be a problem I'm going to take out all white spaces of the string just in case the user accidentally enters a white space and then what you have to do importantly is explode the string that the user entered because the user may enter multiple terms so you have to separate each term and then check to see if each term is in the search query that the each term is in the file name um, so that that result can be returned. So um, I'm just doing a quick run through again. Um, you can see the full detail of this because I don't want this video to be like 40 minutes or something like that. So and then after this, I use another block of PHP code to search the directory that I want to search. Now, since my website is mostly, um, since I publish most pages to the article directory, I'm just all I need to do is search the articles directory and that pretty much covers my site but you can search multiple directories basically you just have to copy all the code that you'll see till the end of the PHP and then paste the whole thing over and then put the other directory that you want to search and you could do this for as many directories as you want um, and then PHP has since it's a server-side language you can open up directories um, with the sorry is direct um, function and then get all the files and then I used um, an if statement later on 
that if the search query that the user entered matches um, the name or terms found in the file name, then that result is returned. So basically, to you could copy and paste the whole code, and again, I, I put a link below to it. And then all you have to do is change the directory you want to search, or directories, and then change the URL. This is my site, Learn About Electronics. Change it to your site. And then you can get this up and running on your website really fast. So this is that's all and that's all it really is.